Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have shared my experiences of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times I enjoy giving my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media. And finally I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And I am going to do exactly just what number three says and that's um, talking about things that I am passionate about. And that means that you know, I'm passionate about Dragon Con, which is only two months away. And that means that um, I'm getting more into uh, blogger season and I will be at the Dragon Con again, working on my blogs and interviewing people. And if you guys are going to be there and you um, want to talk to me and you want to show off your greatest cosplay, or if you um, want to have a deep conversation with me about a video game, or if you um, want to talk about what's going on with NASA and the Cassini mission, or um, how I should uh, go about studying uh, my new physics major, you are more than welcome to interview me. But today though, I'm going to um, do a little story and I'm also going to give you guys some tips. So I thought it would be really, really helpful. So anyway, um, over the weekend, I attended another convention right here in Atlanta, and the name of that convention uh, is called Momocon. And Momocon is a small anime convention right here in Atlanta, and it's gradually getting better. And for those of you who don't know what anime is, it is a uh, form of high, uh, maybe high Japanese art and animation, and it is. Uh, comes from a manga which is just like a comic book and there are artists in Japan that have turned these mangas into cartoons and they have been very popular in Japan and around the world and people like to cosplay them. Now Momocon is also a, um, what do you call it? It is also a gaming and a um, comic book convention as well. And again, people like to go there to cosplay, and they like to go there and game, they like to go there and shop, they like to um, talk about cartoons and video games and get autographs. Same stuff, which is sort of like Dragon Con, but a lot smaller. So, here's the story. But basically, um, I had decided to room with uh, you know, with a friend and their friends uh, over the previous weekend and we were going to stay at a hotel together and I was really looking forward to it and uh, you know, all that jazz. And um, little did I know that when I would stay with them, I found out that this friend wanted to hang out with their other friends because they're a huge uh, group of people that like video games like Zelda and Portal and uh, they, you know, uh, Zelda and Portal and I forget the Smash, Smash Brothers and they're, they just, if you make fun of their, uh, their characters in their video games, they're touchy about that. And I also found out that this friend and their friends, um, since they had been involved in this little gaming world, they were not willing to let anybody else in. And I was trying to make sense of what they were interested in because I thought I might give a Zelda a try or I might like to try uh, the Smash Brothers or some of these other video games that they were talking about. And instead of being helpful, they were very hurtful and they kept hinting to me that I'm stupid because I don't know about video games. And they also uh, made it very clear that they weren't interested in me by several hints. Like, this friend of mine didn't call me any time during the weekend. They uh, didn't invite me to hang out one-on-one. -on -one. Instead, all they wanted to do was um, run around with these other people while I was alone. I mean, I don't normally mind doing that, but it just uh, it took me by surprise because I thought this person is my friend. And, you know, you would, I would think that uh, they would want to balance it out by spending time with um, these friends at this time and me at that time and 
possibly attend some panels or play a game or two on another occasion. But no. Instead, they just, um, they put me down the entire time and they, um, I mean, they, they would accept me being around, but they just weren't really excited, you know? So, what I ended up having to do because they kept making me feel bad, and I had to assert myself and I had to say, yeah, this situation just is not working out for me. So, uh, next year I would like to room with somebody who is more of an anime fan, somebody who is more interested in cartoons or possibly astronomy. And at that point they just kind of shut down and I also had to learn to ignore and avoid them even though I could uh, say hi once and stay off or stay away. And it, is, uh, or it was during this experience that I ran into another friend who uh, likes to go to uh, conventions as well. He's also on the autism spectrum. And I found out that he had extra space in his hotel room, which was a little suite down the street. So I decided to just stay away from uh, these people who were so toxic. And I decided to go and room with other people. So um, here are my tips for you guys that are going to cons. Just because somebody um, tells you that you're that your best friend and they invite you to stay in a room with them and their friends doesn't mean that they're going to treat you well um, and just because they tell you know they're opinionated and they tell you that they're concerned that you won't understand what they're interested in don't listen to them if they're gonna be like that just stay away from them and also, be sure to assert yourself. I mean, don't point your finger at them. Don't yell at them. It's better to tell them, hey, listen, I don't think this is a good fit for me. I'm sorry, but it just seems that we keep clashing in this environment. And I'm sorry that I don't seem to have all the savvy that you have playing D&D &D or, or anime or comic books or cosplay but I just don't think it's working out for us to be roommates. So anyway, for you con goers, if you have any questions, you are more than welcome to comment below and you're also more than welcome to um, share this with other Dragon Con goers, anyone who's new or anyone that has not been to Dragon Con before or someone that's a Dragon Con veteran. So, Again, if you have any questions or comments, please state below. And also, please do not, um, please don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel. So, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer. Bye.